All right, guys, hello, and welcome to my first ever YouTube video, and I'm really excited to be doing this. I've been wanting to create a channel for a while now. I've had the intention of doing it, and it just never happened. So here we are, finally starting with this first video. So I wanted to first just introduce myself, talk a little bit about me, about Sweat with Sierra, and why I love what I do so much. First, just a little tiny bit about me, just so you know a little bit about me. I was born in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I was raised here in Florida. I was actually raised in a little town. It's called Satellite Beach, Florida, and that is where I grew up. I love the beach. I love the ocean. I also love to travel. I love to see all different parts of the world and experience cultures all over the place. So that is one thing about me. Um, I also, I live in Miami now. I have a dog and I live with my boyfriend. This is part of our apartment, our kitchen, our dining room. So welcome. Um, what else? I went to the University of Florida. I graduated from there in 2018 with my degree in health science. And I absolutely loved my time at the university, but at the end of those four years, well, it was three years I got my AA in high school. So it was about three years uh, till I got my bachelor's. And while I was working on that, I started working for UF as a personal trainer. And through that process, I found out that I absolutely love personal training. I love fitness. I love helping other women work on their bodies and their minds and become healthier, happier spirits. And so while I discovered that, I decided not to go to grad school for occupational therapy. I decided instead that I was going to try this personal training thing and I was going to try to make that my full-time career. So I left school, I moved to South Florida, and when I moved to South Florida, I started working at a crunch fitness. And I absolutely love my crunch family. If any of you are watching this, you guys are awesome. I miss you guys, but it just wasn't for me. There was a few factors. Um, like working really long hours. I was working like 8 a.m. until 8 or 9 p.m. Most days I was there all day and I just wasn't making the money that I thought I should be making for working that long. And so for me, that was the main reason why I felt it was time to leave and time to pursue Sweat with Sierra, which is my own personal fitness brand. And I decided that, you know what? This is the time to do it. I'm young, I'm already broke, might as well put all my cards in one basket and that basket is me. So I put all my hope into Sweat with Sierra. I moved to Miami, long story short, I met my boyfriend and moved to Miami to move in with him. We have been together for almost two years now and things have just been blossoming. I mean, I love Miami. My business has been growing. Obviously we just hit a little hiccup with the quarantine and with COVID-19. But before that, and even now after that, things are blossoming and growing for Sweat with Sierra. So I'm really excited to be on this journey and I'm excited for you guys to tune in and be on this journey with me. On this channel, I plan on posting a lot of workouts. I'm gonna post a lot of these videos of just like me talking, answering your questions, uh, going through some more educational kind of videos. I'll post some vlogs going through like my day. I'm gonna add a little bit kind of of that in this video as well. And then I also, like I said, I love to travel. So when my boyfriend and I travel, I would love to post some videos of things that we experience as we go to these different places. We just got back from Paris in January and fingers crossed we're gonna go to LA at the end of August. So maybe I can do my first travel vlog for that. A little bit more about me, I love sports. I play tennis as a hobby. My boyfriend and I both play. Um, I used to horseback ride and I'm looking to get back into that, but in Miami, obviously, it's not like the easiest sport to partake in. So I am looking to start horseback riding again. I love art and music. I love creating art, um, admiring art, everything about art. And same thing with music. I can sing, I love to sing. And I also love just listening to music and hearing artists create. I also love cooking. I love cooking and baking healthy, healthy recipes um, and sometimes not so healthy recipes, but either way, I love being in the kitchen. I love cooking. So now I just wanted to get into a little bit. You guys had asked me a few questions. You had sent me a few questions that you wanted answered. So I just kind of wanted to talk about a few of those, starting with question number one, which is asking, do you track your calories? or do you just try to eat healthy? So this is obviously asking me personally uh, whether I track my macros or whether I just eat healthy. So I have tracked my macros, tracked my calories for 
two plus years at a time. And there were times that I was like very, very strict with it. There were times that I was kind of a little bit more lenient with it, uh, kind of back and forth. But now I eat completely intuitively. Um, long story short here too, I did a bikini bodybuilding show a few years back. And when I did that show, I had to be very strict with my nutrition and just very diligent about every little thing that I ate. And um, it caused a little bit of a, not an eating disorder, but a little bit of disordered thinking when it came to eating uh, for me. And so after that show, I kind of had to take a few steps back in order to recover my thinking. And when I did that, I realized that macro tracking at the time was not smart for me. So I learned how to intuitively eat. I learned how to mindfully eat. And that's what I do now. But I got to this point after years of tracking my calories and macros. So I do still have my clients start with tracking macros or calories as long as that's something that they can safely mentally handle. And as long as it's something they're willing and able to do, that's what I start them with because it is so beneficial to learn the calories and the ingredients and the macronutrients and the micronutrients in your food. If you don't know what you're putting into your body, you're gonna have a really hard time getting what you want on the outside and getting what you want to feel to come out, if that makes sense. So the next question that I got says, how many calories should I eat when I am trying to build muscle and lose fat? What do I do help? So this question is interesting because in order for me to know how many calories you personally should eat, the person that asked this question or honestly anyone else, I would have to know a lot about you. I would have to know how many times a week you're exercising, your age, your height, your weight, your gender, your everything. I would need to know everything because it really comes down to your entire lifestyle when asking how many calories you should be eating. So I can't tell you exactly how many calories you should be eating, but it says to build muscle and lose fat. And so when we think about building muscle and losing fat, it's actually more like two separate goals entirely, right? So if we're thinking about building muscle, in order to build muscle, you have to be in a calorie surplus. And so to do that, you need to be eating more calories than you're burning through exercise and through um, your body's metabolism throughout the day. So you burn calories all day, no matter what, even if you don't exercise, but exercise just adds additional calories onto that total. I can talk about that in another video. Um, that's a little bit more of a process, but just for today, calorie surplus means you're eating more calories than your body is burning throughout the entire day, right? That's what you need to build muscle. You have to have fuel, you have to have energy, you have to have protein coming into the body so that your body can basically use that food as building blocks in order to build up the muscle within the cells. Now, if you wanna lose fat, it's basically the opposite process. It's not that the two negate each other, it's just that in order to lose fat, you have to be in a calorie deficit, which that means you need to be eating less calories than your body burns throughout the entire day. And so when you talk about building muscle and losing fat, it's kind of an interesting concept. There's a lot of differing science when it comes down to this, but in my personal opinion, I would look at the client specifically, so the person that comes to me, and then I would make a decision based on that client's body, based on their needs. So if it was somebody who didn't really have a lot of fat to lose, I would, definitely push them more towards that muscle building goal because no matter what as they start building muscle as they start exercising they're going to feel their body tighten and tone no matter what as a tone because tone is not actually a real thing it's just building muscle but as they build muscle they're going to see that aesthetic look and they're going to feel that feeling that they want no matter what however on the flip side if somebody comes to me and they have quite a bit of fat to lose, I might push them more towards the fat loss goal first just because they're gonna start seeing the results of that versus if I push them towards a solely a muscle building goal and their body's not really shredding fat, it's gonna be hard to see some of that muscle coming out. So if they have quite a bit of fat to lose, I would probably put them more towards the deficit and work on building strength because you can build strength while you're losing body fat but you, it's very hard 
to build muscle while losing body fat. I hope that that makes sense to you guys and kind of gives you a little bit of clarification into that question. Is he home? Bella, who is it? Is that home? Is that home? Is he home? <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so those are the two questions that i have for you today if you have any others please feel free to comment or message me on instagram it's sweat with sierra if you don't follow me there already follow me there as well and yeah i'll see you guys back here next time